Well, good morning, all. We have the New York Giants out here. Hello. Let's see that one. Very big and nice. Say hello there to There you Mrs. go. What's up? Little title. Oh, tail we action. got one in the front. We got no one we, we, <laughs> we got a live action here. All right. Like I said, they will come. Oh, nice. <laughs> That's how we do it here. That's how we're doing on the preacher right there. Wow. All Excellent. right. That's good stuff. There's a couple of fish going to heaven right hey. now. Nicely done. Nicely done. Nicely done. Ah. Oh, hey, how do you know? I'll tell you. Dave, he's got hands like feet, all right? It's got to be from touching so many tippets. Kids, what? tippet is a fly leader, all right? You maniacs. So who we got today? Where are we? Who we got today? First of all, we got Brian. Hi, Tom. He's living up, I'm going to keep this very vague. He lives up towards Giant Knight over in New Rochelle, in that area. Then, who do we got? Right there, Greg. He's a Gindaloon, doing the Gindaloon stuff. But also, Greg, United States Marine veteran. Also, law enforcement. How you doing? All right? You know the kid with police. Exactly. Guess a deech. Uh, don't get me started. Don't get me started. I can go on the rant. I'm not ranting anymore right now, all right? And then we got Davey, North Island Fly. He's whipping, he whipping his tip all over Long Island Sound, all right? Love that guy. Who else we got? We got Cos, Cos Customs, the legend, the Polish prince. And last but not least, Babalu. He likes, he's like, kid, can you give me a grand entrance to this video? Guys, he's very vain, Bob. But he wanted the vein, he wanted the big entrance, he wanted this, he's like, screw all the marines and all the crap, let me, let me get, let me get the, uh, all the glory here, alright? He doesn't realize that all the glory goes to God, not Bob, alright? What a freak he is. He's like, kid, do me a solid, uh, can you take a bunch of pictures on my right side, I, I like to go right on video? Shut up! I'm kidding, Bobaloo, seriously, you want to see a quick shot of Bobaloo right now? <laughs> <laughs> I turned around, I thought I was being attacked by Gumby, damn it. That guy's not in the squirrel. I right? guess it teach me a mooch. So where are we fishing? I come out of Smithtown Bay, looking like Magnum P.I. Getting out to preach it. What do I do? I'm dead balls northwest, heading to Norwalk, and I'm heading in hard, all right? Screw you all over there. Who we bump into? Stevie and Dennis on 55 an hour. See the kid out there, sneak around, yo, say, what's up, kid? I go, hi, Dashin. All right, so this guy's uh, I anchored up behind us. That's them right there. And uh, we had a little chat with those cats out there. It was a pleasure meeting the con out there. Love the con. So how are we starting this one off? A competition. All right, players and player haters. All right, because there are haters out there. I don't know why, because they hate. Oh, really? All right, we got, again, we got Kaz, Baba, hello, Greg, Brian, and my boy Davey. All right, what are we doing? Competition number two. Everybody's up. Now, what are you going to say? What are they going to win, kid? What are they going to win? I know what they're going to win. Some guinea bastard food. Look at this. They're going to get some of that crap. <laughs> you cannot touch it. Only the captain can touch that. All right, right then. Live action. Who is it going to be? I don't care. Who is it going to be? Nobody cares, kid. Will it be Mikey Koss? Taxi! Will it be Babalu? It's going to be hard for me to film this live action, but I will. That's what I do for you cats. <laughs> All right. What'd you say? Nothing. Nothing? I said watch me catch one right now. Alright. Ah. Oh, gee, swing the mess. Toolbox move right there. Little thigh fly. Screw the pooch. We got the two gindaloons on the back of the boat. <laughs> oh, my God! <laughs> I'm about loose. Swing the miss. Mikey Cos. I have dozen. Oh, my God. Oh, Brian's oh, yeah. swinging the miss. His wife's probably thinking about leaving them right now after that fail. <gasps> Alright. And as she should because she's got too much pressure on her. Let's go to the Marie Corps. Marine Corps. We're going tight on the Marines. There's no pressure on you. No, 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 not at all. Not at all. Oh, Bobaloo, he's going to sneak this one out, I think. He's focused like a bastard. Look at this. Oh, he's swimming again. This is live action. What are you doing, Toolbox? Tell me. Yeah, I'm getting a lot of bites. I think a lot of bites. Bait, North actually. Island fly. I think I got no bait. Oh, boy. <laughs> you all fails. Mikey Cos up there is quiet like nobody's business. He's going to say hello to one. I got a feeling Baba Lou's gonna say hello for some reason. Semper Fidelis over here. He's wearing yellow because he likes it. He's a little tight. You can see he's still Catholic. All right, those things are so. <laughs> those jeans are so tight. I am done. Doing circles now. Doing circles around the boat. It's the bait technique. Full crabs, garbage crabs. Don't put them in the water. Don't pull away the piece. I don't. He's going to maneuvers later with his camouflage. Here we go. Here we go. Come on, oh, jeez. Come on. 
I need some cured meat. What is going on here? You guys screwing a pooch. Ah, sweet Jesus. Sweet Jesus. Mikey, Mikey's getting bailed by me! Go, baby! I got it all too! Bob, tell him all this. <laughs> That's the win right there! I told you, it doesn't have to be big. That's a big W right there. Babalu, he gets a little piece of, what's it called? Gabagool. Gab is that what that is? Nah, I don't know. Super Sonic. Gabagool. Yeah, that is Super Sonic. I'm, I'm, I'm not Irish. Sad. I don't know what that means. Oh, what do you have to say to your wife about that? Bob, Bob, what do you say? It's too late, right? Too late. If you're not first, you're last. Ricky Bobby's in the house. I am egg one. Nice, nice. Ni that's that's <laughs> nice. Does your husband fish? Huh? What do you have to say to your fans? <sighs> Giving lessons tomorrow. What? Nice. <laughs> Another giant fan. Mama Lucia, this is a big time. I love it. It's my brother Matthew right there. A little shout out to the New York Giants. Oh, gosh. Bro, I don't know. I had a feeling Bob Lou was going to pull that one off. And what did he do? He wins the damn competition, number one. All right? So, you take a couple of gindaloons on the boat. What do you expect to get? Gindaloon food, all right? Brian, let's walk us through the stuff you brought here, kid. Italian food 101, because it looks exactly the same to me, but there's two different <laughs> things going on here. <laughs> all right, so what we got here? This is a uh, imported Parmigiano Reggiano. That is a sweet supersad, dried sausage, and an imported provolone with the spicy supersad. I brought it just for all the Irish guys. <laughs> Very kind of you, all right? That beats us. And what did the Irish guy bring? This is what the cat brings. Don't, and they're going pretty well, by the way. I'll have you know, one of you guys just closet eating these things. But that's it right there. So one this is two completely different cheeses. That one's got a little more holes in it, like, I don't know. Parmigiano Reggiano. That Parmigiano Reggiano? I'm gonna say hello to that. Mm. Oh, I could go uh, down to it. Yeah? I'm gonna say hello. Coming at me right now. Hello. Yeah, I got a little more crystal in it. I like that better. That's much better. Not the other one's not better. Better for the a more of a, a little harder of a cheese. Mm. The Chantaloons eat that better? Is that what it is? Kaz doesn't like the. The super side though. Koss? No? Koss is a Polak. <laughs> this guy is a bastard. Up his alley. He's the bastard child right there. He needs the Cured fucking... Cured sausage? You throw one of these crabs on the hook. Koss, yeah. he'll eat that. The carbonasa sticks. Not kielbasa, but... Yeah. It's a carbonasa sticks, a kielbasi. Koss is the only guy that eats uh, kielbasa without uh, cutting it. <laughs> 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 you are a freak! This is a kid show. All right, thanks there, Brian, for your little lovely chow. All right, since he did that, don't you think we should do a little montage of Brian doing a little fishing right now? A couple of blackfish he caught. Do a little music to it. Kiss a dish, made a mooch, here it comes. I gotta hand it to Brian right there. He put a clinic on out there on the jig, all right? All right, now we're gonna shoot over to my boy Greg, United States Marine Corps veteran. I love our military. Also, he's an LEO. Love your police. Keep it at that, though. We're not gonna get too, in, uh, too involved in his private life. But he's got a kind of shout out for us. All right, this one's going out to South Spark Hill Cell. You know, I'm sorry I'm not on your boat today, but I only fish with real fish in there. <laughs> we're out here in the Long Island Sound. We're not fishing the dirty trench, the Hudson River. Okay, this ain't Pyramont, this ain't Nyack. We're on a real boat, we're on a real boat. We're on the Preacher, an Everglades, not the uh, the garbage can or whatever you're fishing. Well, that was a little rough for Greg right there. But then again, he's a damn United States Marine. So, those guys weren't known for their uh, kid gloves, if you will. Well, thank good the Sal right there is not a snowflake and he need to go grab a stuffed animal and cry in this uh, safe place right now, all right? The con is strong. Guess the dish made a mooch. All right, now we're segueing into the kids' comment 
All right, who is it? Yeah, it's my boy Bob Lillo right there. Asbury Park, New Jersey. Shot these to the kid right there. He's dragging outside. He's dragging Niners. I never even heard of him. That goes to show you I don't know much about that. Niners are umbrella rigs. And where they get them? Look at this hat. Tackle Direct apparently sells them. All right. So if you're interested in that, go to Tackle Direct. Good crew over there. And uh, get yourself some Niners. Congratulations, Sal. And congratulations, Bob, for being this week's con. Shout out of the week. Those freaking Niners look like dredges from Sterling Tackle for Tuna. All right. The things are huge. On that note, Sterling Tackle. Yeah. Those guys right there. My peeps. Right now, Sterling Tackle has a 20 percent off blackfish blackfish what are you out of your mind that's this episode black friday deal all right 20 percent off make sure you check before you go on there right? because this is going to air tomorrow which could be i don't even know what day today is i've been rocking so many times fishing the hunt i don't even know what day today is but sterling tackle has black friday sale 20 percent off get over there slip that over to your girlfriend whoever your wife your girlfriend whoever shoot over that you want a couple of uh dial trackers a couple of side trackers kid would i recommend we killed her all year long on the zucchinis, all right? So that's all I'm just saying. I'm by no means am I the, the tuna guy, but everything I got was on zucchini this year. So I'm just telling you, math is the math. Zucchini's where you want to go, all right? So I don't know, I just segued that into a commercial for uh, Sterling Tackle, but I love Sterling Tackle. So take a pick of Sterling Tackle right there. 20% off Black Friday. All right, now where are we going? Competition number two. When's that start? Right now. Go! <laughs> you ain't cheating, you ain't trying. All right, please take notice right now. We got Greg, USMC, tactical genius right now. He pitches out, tries to block everybody. Then he does the super fly snooker move he used in Fallujah. He takes his rod and puts it over Dave's rod so Dave can't lift up and do a hook set. It's genius. You'll see right here that Dave has a fish biting him. He goes to set the hook, but Mr. Semper Fly stops the advance on his foxhole and stops Dave dead in his tracks. <laughs> Handicapped over here. That was totally easy on Greg's spot. Can't catch him without bait. No. And you would have had him if he did. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, as you can clearly see, Dave is not moving with a purpose. The guy is in one of the most famous competitions on the Eastern Seaboard, and he's taking his sweet ass time trying to get this bait back in the water. Oh, that does not make a winner. Ah, now he's going on the offensive trying to mess with Brian. But Brian's not fooling for it. He doesn't even twitch. He knows the difference between the tippet touch and the old blackfish nibble. Surprise! Who, what, is, what does the winner get? Uh, Mike Kazak in the trip. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Brian, sleeping up there, kid. What's going on? He's just waiting. Vegas had you at high odds. Patiently waiting. That's right. So there you have it, Brian, check with the win on the second competition, all right? Limited out, crazy fishing. As you can see, we had a lot of fun on that trip. Those guys are just really just good cats, all right? It was a real privilege to fish with those guys. Speaking about big fish, I had another guest on, and I was going through the footage, and I see something I want to bring to your attention. Not only does my guest Joe have a monster fish right here, which will ultimately be released. As he's walking past the boat, I see on the gunnel my tip of the day, all right? Go to the dollar store, get the plastic dog bowls. They crunch up into a very flat thing and they pop open. Try vanilla for a buck. You get those things, especially if you guys are going out there doing the jig bite. You go out there, you can cut all your baits, stick them in a the little dog bowl, and it just stays right on the gunnel. It doesn't, it's like a rubber. It doesn't move off the gunnel. If you knock the thing over, hey, you lose one. I haven't lost one yet, but you could lose one that goes over, but it's a dollar, all right? But it makes it a lot easier than you just go there, you prep a bunch of baits, throw it in your little dog bowl, have your little time to yourself, start 
banging out fish like crazy, all right? So that's the tip of the week. There's Big Joe. Yeah, 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 like that. Uh, but I want to get your face, so I'm going to lower it. How's that? <laughs> Make a face, go like this. Oh, with your teeth out. Try to get your teeth out. Yeah, get your teeth out. There's Joe right there with a nice male fish he's going to release. So we get back to the dock. We got to get offload the fish. It was like literally getting rid of a dead body. I think uh, Dave strained a fallopian tube getting off the boat when he tripped. What do you got there? A couple, a couple, two treats, man. <laughs> <laughs> There's a body in there. Good. What do you think? What do you think about that? It's a sack right there. <laughs> a sack. Thank goodness the Marine Corps is there to take care of business, all right? They take care of bodies in their own way. Guess it, Dave. All right? So that's basically going to be this episode. I know it's a little wacky. We caught a ton of fish. Here's a picture of us holding all the fish, so it's not fake news. But... Uh, I kind of make it different these episodes, just kind of make it get a chuckle out of that. So consider subscribing there yeah, if you like, like, comment, all that stuff right there. You know what I'm talking about. And don't forget that Sterling Tackle sale goes on till Tuesday midnight, all right? I didn't know that. I had to call Stevie and say, Stevie, I got to put the word out to the con. If they want to get their presents for Christmas right there, a little uh, discount almost on the arm there, you got till Tuesday night midnight to get those deals on your Sterling Tackle. So make sure you take advantage of that stuff because that sale. It's going, baby. It's that Black Friday craziness. Thanks for watching this episode of Kid Coach Cheese Outdoors. I know you guys got better things to do with your time, but you do take that little time to watch the kid for a little bit. Hopefully you guys got a little laugh out of it. Who knows? If you didn't, maybe see a sec guy just, all right? I just want to take this time to thank all the men and women in the service, all right? Army, Navy, Air Force, Marine, United States, Coast Guard, National Guard, all you cats, all right? I want you to know that the kid and the con appreciate your service, and we don't take you for granted. There's some morons out there that don't even acknowledge you. You know what you do with them? Maybe you get the jaws of life and pull the heads out of their <laughs> Unbelievable. All right, I don't want to go. I'm going to stop ranting, so i got to stop this right now, all right? May the grace of God be with you. Shine upon your family. Stay in his favorite place, all right? Kid, he's got to go.